But the piece I would like to end with here, um, specifically because you know it addresses the kingdom in Romans of all places, and I would thank. Um, Matthew Bates, especially a book like Why the Gospel, and he's written other stuff, um, for pointing this out. The opening of Romans. Paul, a servant of Messiah Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son. Okay, so this is the gospel of God concerning his son, concerning Jesus. What does it say about him? who was descended from David according to the flesh, Davidic connection, and was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus, Messiah, our Lord. Um, and the part that Bates really highlighted there is that part declared to be the Son of God in power. And, you know, he argues that that indicates that kind of, you know, installation as king through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. So there you have, right at the beginning of Romans, which we often think of as, you know, locus classicus for Paul's gospel. And he says, it's concerning Jesus, who was descended from David, declared the son of God in power. And actually my job as an apostle is to bring about the obedience of faith among all the nations hmm. to this king. So... A little hard to say that Paul's gospel isn't about the kingdom. 